Uh, on September 20th of this last year, a lot of you know, uh, the worst hurricane hit my native uh, island of Puerto Rico, and I did not hear from my family for five straight days. Uh, frankly, none, none of the people I know that have relatives in Puerto Rico heard from their families for days on end. And I remember getting a call from Senator Gazelka in one of those days in between to have a prayer for my family. And I got many of those messages and many of those uh, moments where people reached out to make sure they, my family was okay. And I don't um, wish that experience on anyone. Luckily, my family is perfectly fine. They did not have power for about three months. And today marks the 153 days since the hurricane hit Puerto Rico, an island of uh, 3.4 million American citizens. A lot of people didn't know that. Today, five months later, about 500,000 residents still have no power. That's just about the same population, a little more than the city of Minneapolis alone. So I, I wanna thank my colleagues. I wanna um, thank you for all your prayers. And I want people to remember and remind yourself why you're here, why we're here on today's uh, session, the beginning of session, and, and our work, and how important it is for us to represent our constituents, for us to do the work of government, which is to prioritize investments, prioritize our tax dollars to the infrastructure. You don't think about clean water until you don't have it. You don't think about a road until you don't have it. You don't think about electricity until you have six months without power. People's lives are at stake, our constituents, our families, and there was a lot of lives lost during that tragic storm. I know we've been uh, merged and, and a lot of us come together in a moment of crisis. I want you to not lose sight of that in this short session, that we want to make sure we're prepared for times of crisis in our state. And I'm so lucky to represent a state where we prioritize people. And I want to make sure that people remember that why we're here. And I also want to make sure that we are all thankful for the work that was done in this body. So with that, Madam President, I thank you and I hope we have a productive session this year.